Bicycle Exchange, there's a, um, a little farm stand, that's the one that I ran and kept records all summer, and then there's, there's corn fields, and we grow corn and chard and peppers, that's where the majority of our vegetables are right now, we have um, beets and carrots, and watermelon. watermelons, yeah. stop and talk to me, they wouldn't buy anything, <laughs> but they would talk to me and they would tell me how happy they were to see farmland right there on University Drive, you know, like, because they were going to just expand that new market plaza, Gold Gym Plaza, and make that whole <laughs> other strip of commercial it. And I was happy that it, that people were appreciating that it was a farm. They didn't buy anything from me, but <laughs> I was happy. I was, I was happy that people were happy how about do you, that. How do you manage the insects and the weeds? What do you use for that? Um, we've had, um, the weeds are, we do a lot of, um, Ryan does a lot of rototilling, yeah. and um, we do a lot okay. of hand weeding, lots of hand weeding, hoeing. and hoeing, and um, insects. It depends on um, specifically. Sometimes you just have to deal with crop loss, and just you know you have to. Well, get the remay. Accept it. Yeah, we yeah. use uh, remay. It's a cloth, a farm fiber cloth that you cover rows with. That'll help with. We had late blight um, on our tomatoes. There's a lot of you know that hit the valley pretty hard this year, and um, it was right at the time when Bill got sick, so it was tough. So I was running Hadley Garden Center and was talking to Ruth Hazard on the phone about organic fungicides and. Um, I finally got hold of some organic copper fungicide and sprayed uh, a little bit on the tomatoes. Um, I did three applications of light applications of that, um, and we got a great yield of tomatoes at University Drive because of that. So that was great. Um, we didn't lose them all. I didn't have to make salsa. And um, but you guys are gonna try. And um, it started out like we didn't really know what was going on but then um the plants just started to die and, and then once we got word of the late blight we realized that we had it real bad right here luckily we spaced out our tomatoes we had some here some in the lower field um the chestnut field over there and some down at university drive but this were this row produced more than you would think still with blight we got a good amount of tomatoes from them the first signs of blight are you get these um late blight anyway you get dark lesions and just hankers on the leaves and then you get circular um, circular lesions on the leaves you can see like that that's usually a sign of a fungus which is a light blight um, and then the tomatoes themselves are disgusting like yeah. they look like you go to pick it and you're just like oh it's gonna be great and then you pull it off and it's like like a burn, like victim, it's like terrible tomato. Um, I don't think you guys really want to pass this around. But this is... Are you going to leave them on the plant? We're going to rip them up. We're ripping them up in the process. Bring them indoors. Um, some of them, if they have light in them, it's in like every cell yeah. of the tomato. You don't even they... notice like, <laughs> and then a week later it's just like rotten. Yeah. Not... I got another field to show you. If you guys want to walk through, you can. It's nice. One of the first things we're going to have you do today to um, hope you guys are in the mood for some grunt work, some real farm work, um, we're going to take down these tomatoes because they are no longer producing enough to keep them in the ground. We want to turn it over and get some cover crop action going. So um, I'll show you down here. Today we're going to have like a couple, we have a couple things that we need to do that we'd be happy um, for you guys to help us with. Um, we have to rip up these tomatoes and we have to um, rip out some dead flowers. And I'll be back. I'm just going to go up there and show Yeah. You all have it. 
to see some other flowers. Want to go pick another one? Hey, okay, am I? Is this a good length or should I cut it longer? Um, longer? Yeah. Okay. Um, what should I use this music show? Alright. Yeah. But do you want me to uh, show me the other? Yeah. There's a bunch of other areas where we have like the same kind and then different. Do, Are they do you need different kind than this? Um, yeah. no. This one's perfect, but we also need like, actually if we take them from over there, there's a wider variety of flowers, so it might be better. Did you have okay. Yeah. Right. Oh. Don't mind. Okay, this is my favorite activity. At the end of the day, sometimes I'll go in. What is he doing? Is he just being chilling? a spidey. Just it, being a spidey. It had a huge insect all wrapped up in its web. Can't find it. Right. It's it's still right. it. So cool. That is a big spider. I've never seen a spider. Like yeah. This. It's kind of it's like silvery. Yeah, he's silvery. Yeah, I thought it was a caterpillar at first. Like a